The Bitcoiners are wrong. They're plain wrong. UST is not backed by Bitcoin and it never will be. And in this video, I'll explain why and what it means for Luna holders. So smash that like button and let's get into it. Is transition their algorithmic stablecoin, UST, to a Bitcoin backed wrong. stablecoin? Is to make the UST stablecoin backed by mm. Bitcoin. That's right. Algorithmic stablecoin now to a Bitcoin backed stablecoin. Essentially making a Bitcoin standard. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Okay guys, there's a few things I really wanna clear up because there's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of misinformation that's being spread out there. It's really important that we understand how this all works and what's going on. So this proposal has come out from Jump Crypto about what to do with Luna Foundation Guard's Bitcoin reserves. Now you can go into the details of their proposal, it's pretty technical. But in essence, it's, it's this. So the idea is that you have a reserve pool that's slated to hold $3 billion of Bitcoin. And the idea is in a nasty D peg to the downside beyond 2%. So if we're at 97.9 cents, people can start redeeming one UST for 98 cents worth of Bitcoin. Now that will happen pretty quickly if, if we got to that level because people are going to be want to pick up that arbitrage and pocket the difference. And they'll be doing it with Bitcoin now instead of Luna. Now that's the only time this comes into play when we lose peg by more than 2%. Now I think that's only happened twice in the last year. So this is, this is like a, a relief valve to the system. It's the best way to think of it. It's the only time this comes into play. So people, people out there parroting that UST is now backed by Bitcoin and it's a new paradigm and part of a, a Bitcoin standard. That's just, that's just hogwash, honestly. But that's not what's going on here at all. So you need to be careful with who you listen to. And I think as a community, we can do better in using the correct language to explain this to people. Otherwise, people coming into our ecosystem are going to get the wrong idea on how this all works. So there's a tweet here from Detective Grover who's part of the retrograde money team. And I called him out on it straight away because again, it's misleading. So the only time, the only asset you can use to mint UST with is Luna. So don't lose sight of that. There's people running around like chicken littles because they think that Bitcoin's now replacing Luna token and the Luna token will have no value. That's not true at all. The, uh, the other point to make is the only time that you can swap Bitcoin is in this disaster scenario. Now, once this, this pool has been drained of most of its Bitcoin or some of its Bitcoin, arbitrages can come back and swap one UST for one Bitcoin as the price stabilizes. So once the peg's been restored, once we're back to a dollar, or even when it goes over a dollar, these guys who bought the Bitcoin at a discount will now start to trade it at a premium and get an arbitrage there and restore the peg. So it's important to understand, you know, what's going on here because there is a lot of misinformation out there. Before I continue, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I'm Jerry, host of the Lunar Orbit podcast, where I provide regular alpha and updates on all things Terra Luna. And if you enjoy this content, consider supporting the channel by smashing that like button, hitting subscribe, and hitting the notifications bell so you get all my videos in a timely fashion. So the other thing that's really annoying me is people referring to this being a Bitcoin standard. Guys, this is a US dollar denominated algorithmic stablecoin. It's not the Bitcoin standard. It's the furthest thing from it, which so I, th I find it very amusing that people are calling this the Bitcoin standard. And even people like Remy here who are in the Lunar Foundation Guard, right on the inside of all this, is quote tweeting people like Pomp about this being part of a Bitcoin standard. Think about this. We used to be on a gold standard. We haven't been on a gold standard for 50 years. It's the biggest asset on earth and it's something like 11 times the size of Bitcoin. So yes, maybe one day we'll get there and this, yeah, you could, I guess you could say it's the first step, but it's the first step of a thousand miles, guys. Maybe one day Terraform Labs will actually come out with a Bitcoin standard stablecoin, but it feels like that's an awful long way away. And this is still tied 
to a fiat currency. So keep that in mind, guys. I think this is a poor use of language. Sure, maybe it's a bit of a marketing hype strategy, but it's, it's important that people understand the subtleties here and get the details correct. So the last thing I wanted to do is just explain in the most simple terms as I can as to how all this works because people clearly still don't understand what's going on here. So basically everything above this red line, nothing's really changed here. Luna will still be used to mint and burn UST. It's simple as that. It's only once the peg falls by so much that there's a panic, that people desperately want to get out of UST and we're trying to protect the lunar price here, guys, because basically that's the way that people exit UST is they, they mint back into lunar, they burn the UST, they mint the lunar, they sell the lunar, and that causes downwards pressure on lunar. Now, if that happens on mass, that's what you call a bank run. Luna would start to heavily depreciate in value, and at some point there would not be enough Luna that you can redeem for the outstanding amount of UST. That's what all the FUD on Twitter is about, that concept. Now, this scenario has, I think, only happened twice in the last 12 months. So this is a disaster relief valve. That's how you need to think of it. That's what the Bitcoin is there for. At once we fall below this 2% peg to the negative, people can then start redeeming Bitcoin to protect themselves. So suddenly that protects Luna. Luna shouldn't get as hammered beyond that. And hopefully the peg gets restored in short order because it's a nice arbitrage there into the hardest asset on earth being Bitcoin. So that's it. So the only thing we don't know of yet is what percentage of the fees that are collected by the burning and mint mechanism will go to buying Bitcoin versus burning Luna. That's the only thing we don't know. So I think this is definitely a net positive overall for the ecosystem because it restores more faith in the peg of UST, which is super important. And it also means that as Bitcoin grows over time, the base layer that people can uh, use to exit into if they want to get out of UST in a rush gets larger and stronger. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoy this content, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and maybe consider watching one of my other videos.